Hello, my name is Rogan. I'm with the Evergreen Projects 2021 Online Conference Committee, and this is a quick introduction to the vendor experience and hop-in that you'll see at the Evergreen Conference. Here I'm logged in, and immediately after logging in, you see your upcoming events. So I am going to click on this event called Event to Create Screenshots From, because I initially envisioned this as a PDF document, but I think a video will actually be more clear to people and more helpful for envisioning than a bunch of screenshots with arrows and that kind of stuff. So once you have entered an event, you will immediately see the sponsors, well, the booths for the event, who will also be sponsors. The graphics that you see that are vertical are two to one ratio. We do recommend that you provide two to one ratio images because otherwise they may look squished or pulled depending on what ratios you give us. Here I'm using a 1200 by 600. You could probably go a little bit smaller than that, but I found that's a nice safe size even on larger resolutions. Also, they want you to provide a square graphic. I've not done any here, but if you've provided one for us, we will use it. I recommend a 300 by 300 for that. And then you see the name of the sponsor, vendor, organization, whatever, along with the headline. Uh, here, I've obviously just made things up about hedgehogs and kittens, but we will use what you've provided to us via the Google form. Here, you can't click them or do any actions. It is just showing you what booths will be available. But we haven't entered the event itself yet. So let's do that. We're going to enter the event, and then we're going to look at a couple of areas. The first thing we're going to see as we log in is the reception area. You see that on the right-hand side here. Um, the reception area is where everybody enters initially into the event. And down here, you will see the sponsors of that. In the real Evergreen event, there will be a much larger descriptive text with information. But here, you see those horizontal graphics without the logo. They will be ranked. We use within the Evergreen community terms like champion, advocate, ally. Here they use gold, silver, and unfortunately we can't customize that, but equivalent meanings. You can click on these and they will open new windows. I have provided as a website for these just Google searches, but obviously these will be your websites when you click on them. Now, the other two areas are going to be of interest are also on the left-hand side. One is this networking area. Networking is just a random chance to meet up with somebody. I'm not going to match with anybody because I'm the only one in the event, but it's the equivalent of standing around a hallway and randomly saying, hi, who are you? Uh, let's chat a little bit and get to know each other. I don't know how popular this will be in the event, but I will encourage people to use it a little bit. And then the meat of things is this expo area at the bottom of the left-hand side. I've only set up these two organizations, but again, we see that same display that we saw before entering the event with the square logo, the vertical logo, the name, and the headline provided, or a short about text. They're inconsistent about what they call it internal to their literature. Now, once you enter, the big thing you're going to see is this main content window. Now, below the content window is a much larger informational area. This is where you can have a lot of text, where you can have links to PDFs, those sorts of things. The main area is generally going to be either a Vimeo video, a YouTube video, they need to be hosted on one of those platforms, or a set of Google Slides. And if you have multiple videos, if you have slides in video, my recommendation is that you do Google Slides and then you embed video on some of those slides. So when someone comes in, they can immediately make use of interacting with this content. Now, the other thing you can do is you can host sessions. Now, I do recommend that you have some sort of content like video or slides in addition to sessions if you're going to do them because you're not going to be doing sessions all the time and we can set up a fall over. And that is what we have done here. Nobody is actively doing a session, so it is showing this fall over content. Now, I am set up as the moderator 
for this booth. So when I'm here, I can click on this little button up here that says toggle to start live sessions. And I can now start presenting and talking with people. I'm going to allow my camera and everything to be used. I'm going to apply it. Oh, and I haven't set up my system permissions on here, but down here you can share camera, audio, your desktop, all that kind of stuff. And when you're in here as the moderator, you also can let other people join you if you want to see them on screen and talk to them verbally one-on-one -on -one or in small groups. You can do that because you're the moderator. If they ask to participate, you will get a message up here that says such and such is asking to participate. Do you allow them? And that is how that works. So I've toggled and come back to the screen. There's, and I just want to show things on the right hand side a little bit. Now here you'll see that square logo. If you have provided social media links, here's where you'll see links to the Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and your website. Now I've already done it uh, in an earlier test run here. So it says success, but normally this will say register interest and you click on it. And when you do, and really by you, I mean the person visiting the booth, it will send to the email associated with the booth so you'll want it to be your marketing person, an email that says such and such, and it provides their email that they register their account with, is interested in your products. So that provides you a way to follow up with them. Also, there's a chat box that will provide interactive discussions. So I can say, you know, hi, my name is Rogan. And you can chat with people, or people can just stop by and leave comments that way. Uh, polls can be set up. People who are actively visiting the booth, you can see. Uh, since you can see them, you can also start a conversation with them directly, which is text messages, but very convenient. People can also leave questions. This is one I left earlier, and I left it anonymously. What kinds of hedgehogs are available right now? Description questions and answers, Q&A is a little misleading because you can't leave answers here, but you can uh, see them, address them in your sessions. If they have not done them anonymously, you can follow up and directly contact them, all those sorts of things. And if you have a lot of people leaving questions, people can post likes on earlier questions, which can give you an indicator of what kinds of things people find particularly interesting. And finally, if you provided a Twitter link, they can click here and see your current Twitter feed. So that is a very quick review of the vendor options and hop in, or I should say the vendor experience. If you have any questions, please feel free to follow up with the conference committee or myself, Rogan at evergreen-ils.org. That's Rogan, R-O-G-A-N. And I'll be glad to help you out. And I hope you have a great conference. Bye.